Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got part 2 of the 52 toys part uh, mini series of reviews and uh, I've already uh, checked on part 1 the alien figure that comes with the uh, face hugger and egg and chest buster so yeah today let's take a look at the xenomorph queen so yeah like I said I'm a huge fan of the alien franchise alien predator and yeah, 52 Toys has been um, putting out a, a series of figures of those, and I'm uh, I was really intrigued. They look really awesome. They are very interesting, very uh, curious, <laughs> very oddities. So yeah, I uh, got myself the whole set, and yeah, there they are. Review time. <laughs> so yeah, we got the queen right here, uh, visual right here. We have a nice. Uh, Screenshot right here of uh, the Queen versus the Power Loader, which is the one right here. And on the side we have a nice Queen looking here. We have uh, the look of the Queen and the box mode. We have a QR code if you want to go see the 52 Toys uh, website. Not much here, legal stuff. So, yeah, let's take a look inside the box and stop wasting time with the box. All right, so yeah, for uh, those who don't know, 52 Toys makes figures that transform into cubes. And yeah, they all are uh, very nice. Uh, they transform into cubes. <laughs> it's very odd, but eh, it works. So yeah, we got instructions right here. We have the Alien Queen looking so damn really good. We have instructions. Now, instructions for this one is very uh, intricate. Again, um, the first one, it was the alien, was a very interesting transformation, but it's nothing compared to the queen. The queen is the most complicated one that I've seen so far. I've played a little bit with the other ones too. The queen is the hardest, hands down. <laughs> but yeah, hardest, not the uh, impossible, you know? So yeah, we have all the instructions right here. And we have the final cube form. On the other side is just transformation again, but from cube back to robot mode. So, yeah, pretty cool. Instructions are very good, uh, very interesting. Uh, I've seen excessively bad <laughs> uh, 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 instructions, and this one is actually really good when I was lost, because I was lost quite a bit. Uh, the, the instructions really helped. So, yeah, inside here we have a catalog and the plastic here, the Mika. This basically you just fold it in two and place it inside of the box and when you put the figure in it will eject it easily but I'm not using it. And we have a catalog right here. I think I've already shown this. Uh, is it the same? Pretty much the same but clearer picture. So yeah this is a 52, 52 uh, toys lines. Uh, they have like uh, two lines. We have the Beast Box, which are creatures, and we have the Mega Box, which are uh, the licensed IPs. So as licensed IPs, we have Alien and Predator. I think we have a Godzilla coming up. i uh, seen some uh, uh, alpha footage, uh, alpha photos, I guess, or uh, just prototype figures. And I think there's a Godzilla coming in. I'm really curious about this. And yeah, Beast Box has tons of figures that are uh, really interesting. So we have the uh, Hippopotamus, that is a repaint or remold for the Rhino. We have a sort of a Triceratops, a Gorilla, uh, Mammoth, uh, again Gorilla. We have this sort of a cute Dino. What's on the other side? Oh, on the other side uh, we have a little bit more creatures now. So we have the uh, Penguins, which is really cute. Not my fort, but well, they really cute. We have the uh, uh, bird, the uh, parakeet. It looks really awesome. I'm really curious about this one. We have a repaint. We have the uh, lobster. Lobster looks really nice. And again, gorillas repaint. I'm not sure where these comes from. We have Getter Robo. Two of Getter Robo. We have the alien that I've already reviewed. And we have now Avengers. So yeah, part of the Mega Box uh, line. We have Avengers. We have Iron Man right here. We have the uh, Hulk Buster, and we have uh, Thanos, <laughs> which is very interesting. There's also a Hulk that I've seen. 
I believe it's a repaint of the Hulkbuster. And yeah, I'm not getting those. I'm not a very, really big fan of the Avengers, but uh, yeah, really cool. Tons of figures. So yeah, let's get back to the figure itself. So let's open this up. We have the cube first, and we have the alien figure. So take this aside. Uh, so uh, let's just make her the queen stand. So Queen is really nice, big long tail, tiny little hands in front, big hands here, awesome figure, really. And even compared to the Alien, there's a huge size difference, you know. The engineering has been amazing. <laughs> so yeah, first, again, we have the box. Like I said, this is the normal box that we have with uh, pretty much all the 52 toys uh, package. Clear, plastic like this and the figure will fit uh will transform into a cube that will fit him we have for example the alien cube right here and we can uh squish him like this so they can hold really solid and we can also peg them like this stack like this and a hole and the door still opens so that's pretty cool so yeah they can stack left and right up and down so really nice <laughs> so let's put the box on the side and the alien figure itself the queen of the aliens and she looks so damn good i'm not a real fan of the translucent blue i was really hoping they'd uh, put a uh, black repaint or just another repaint because blue i mean the blue is good but it's the translucent it's, it's all uh, translucent blue you can see so I'm not a fan of translucent, but yeah, I've been waiting for a long time for a black queen. They uh, never put it out, so yeah, I would got, I got it anyway, because <laughs> it still looks really amazing. So uh, yeah, uh, size comparison I've already shown with the alien right here. So she is much bigger. And another size comparison, uh, we have Hoist from Earthrise right here. I know it's not the same thing, it's a Transformer, this is something completely different. I just wanted to show the size difference, you know. <laughs> so yeah, the Queen is really big, and she still fits in the same size cube, so it's really amazing. So there's tons of articulation in there. We have the uh, back of the head right here. Uh, these can open up, close, go up, down. So you can move it as you wish. You have these side panel. They can move up like this, like this. We have the tip, whoops, and the tip just popped out. <laughs> it's nothing too uh, major. You just pop it back in, voila. So you have this, you have this on the other side. You have the tip of the head that is only a double swivel. So it can go like this, it can go like this. We have the tongue that is also spring loaded and the mouth can close and she has really nice metallic teeth. <laughs> I really dig this. Love this. Uh, what else? Uh, we have ball joint at the elbows, so the arms can flip like this. We have uh, a swivel at the uh, shoulder, and uh, the, the ball joint at the, uh, the shoulder swivel at the elbows. We have another swivel at the wrists, and we have rotation here, and another rotation here. So double rotation for the wrist, plus we have the uh, ball joint uh, thumb and uh, pinky finger. So yeah, lots of lots of articulation in here. So let's just open this up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. She does have another set of arms right here. So they are also on ball joints. At the uh, uh, chest, I guess. We have a swivel at the elbow right here that goes at the elbows of both ways. And another swivel right here at the tip of the hand. The legs uh, we have uh, ball joints again at the uh, thigh so the legs can go up down well can rotate all the way around no problem we have this thing that goes up and down we have knee joint 
double here. We have this thing here. It goes up and down. We have a, another swivel at the uh, <laughs> at the ankle, and we have the uh, heel spurs and toe. So yeah, she got tons, tons, tons of articulation. And that's not even mentioning the tail that is also on a ball joint, so the tail can wiggle left, right, and it's all on articulated uh, joints right here, chains joints. Plus, we also have these tubes in the back, which can be placed. <sighs> yeah, tons of stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> She doesn't have waist rotation, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much, you know, she already is so articulated, you know, and it just wouldn't. <laughs> I really love this. It's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna, I've been playing with it so much. It's just addictive how these 52 toys line is great. <laughs> All right, so I guess we could do a uh, transformation now. All right, transformation. So, uh, like I said, not uh, super easy. So hopefully you'll be able to follow me. <laughs> so uh, close these, close these uh, spiky thing, like put it uh, flat and put close these in like this. Make sure the mouth there the the tongue is closed and the, the mouth is like this uh, first the the waist should be up like this you collapse the waist flip uh, open up the uh, legs like this take these two arms and they will have like a tiny peg like this and then you fold them 90 degrees 90 degrees and the finger will sort of like plug into here so like this <laughs> All right, uh, straight this up. The neck, you want to bring the neck up and back like this. Take the head, flip it down, and underneath the head, there's a hole right here, and there's a peg right here. So you want to peg it in. So, like this, and make sure this goes down. Come to the back, take these uh, 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 tube thing on the back lift them all up like this and put them on the side like this all right the arms now uh these uh there's spikes here that you need to bring down and the arms you need to bring them back like this bring them down like this and this part right here needs to rotate like this and the fingers on uh, needs to be uh bring uh, brought up like this And now, uh, from the other side, the finger, you bring them together like this, and they will uh, snap in together like this. So this is the configuration of the arm. And uh, on the arm, uh, you have like this uh, peg right here on the tube thing. So this square will latch on to the arm right, like this. Same thing on the other side, so bring this back, straight this up, bring the arms like this down, like this, bring this thing here like this, and bring the hand like this, lift up the fingers, like this, and from the other side, bring the fingers together and snap them in, like this. Again, you have the tab here, snap it in, and voila, leave these like this for now. Legs, take this thing, bring it back, bring the whole leg back like this, bring this down like this, close the uh, heel, close the foot, and you have like this hole right here that will peg in to this tab. So flip it like this flip it like this and you want to connect it like this now bring the leg like this for now same thing for the other one so close uh, this 
in the back. Uh, close this in like this. Close this in like this. Close the heel. Close the foot. Rotate the foot in like this. Bring it up and snap it in. Voila. Oh wait. This thing yep, goes on the other outside like this. Then you bring the leg in. All right. Rotate the leg up. Now make sure these are up straight. And now you have to fit the foot inside the back of the head like this. So let's do this on the other side. Bring the, just the tail out. So bring the foot in. Shove it in here. Like this. Now on top of the head there's the another hole here on the uh, foot that will peg into here, like this under the uh, crest, I guess. Oh, the head just unpeg itself. Tap it in back. All right, same thing here. So plug this in. Voila. So you're almost done now. Take the fist, uh, the the wrist, and these tabs will plug inside of the hand here. Bring it in like this. Same thing for the other one. So bring it here, tap it in, voila. Next up, the tail. Make sure the, um, <laughs> this is the hardest part. So you see there's some uh, spikes, tiny spikes on the back. You need to make sure that the tiny spikes goes with the tail like this. So you need to bring the double tab. On the other, one, on the other side, it's gonna be a single tab. You want the double tab to be facing up. So like this, like this, like this. All right, now you bring it all the way up. And uh, you have right here two tabs that will snap onto the hands. So bring it here. This is a very hard part. It's very intricate, so we got one, so we got two, huh? All right, oops. So, like here, the tail is snapping on both sides. All right, now the tail, bring this up. Now the tail, you need to sort of uh, snap it in here. And this part needs to be up like this, I guess. And now you bring the whole thing down, and as you can see, the column, uh, the uh, joint here goes well. And the, the final one, the top one, will slide into that groove. So bring it down. You know, this one, like this. Bring it down, and now you snap this in. Voila. And now you just have to uh, fix everything back the way it should go. Everything snaps, everything is good. Now the tail, something is uh, not right with it. Hmm. Maybe I done this on the other, the other way. Uh, it should be like this. like this sort of and you snap back in and it's really weird it doesn't want to go in perfectly the tail is like the, the the hardest part so don't don't freak out about this it's really hard for a reason like this like this and voila we got it <laughs> so we have a tiny peg right here that will snap onto the leg right here. Voila, same thing here. <sighs> there you go. We have the whole cube all completed. So yeah, like I said, a uh, very intricate, but it works. So now we can take the cube and slide it in. And voila. <laughs> It's a cube, <laughs> and it's pretty cool. I mean, I like it. So we can connect this, and it still holds. So 
yeah, really nice. <laughs> I mean, why would it transform into a cube? Uh, I don't know, but it's a gimmick that I really like. And the transformation, like I said, is very intricate, very... Uh, it's not an easy one, but it's a fun one, you know? It's like a Chinese puzzle where you try to figure out how to solve it. And that's how you do it. Like, the, the puzzle of this thing is to transform into a square a cube and it works and I really like it so I mean there's nothing else about it it's just a cube <laughs> would be nice like to have number and you could play uh, RPG tabletop stuff with it but uh, I don't know man it's a really fun uh, gimmick I really really dig this so yeah that's pretty much it and uh yeah uh 52 toys a xenomorph queen I really recommend this it's a really addictive set I'm gonna get myself some more, uh, it's guaranteed. <laughs> they are really that much fun. And the storage is really cool, so if you have like a, if you bring this to your uh, work desk, they, they are pretty good, and they're fun. So, yeah, uh, I got this from SirToys.com, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. If you're interested, it, uh, it's just a, such a fun toy, I mean, it's just a cube. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing to it. It's just a cube, but it's so much fun. Uh, the it's just the design of it, the the engineering that goes into it, so much fun goes into it. So I'm just playing with it. I just I cannot I cannot <laughs> let them stay on my desk without playing with them. They're that much fun. So yes, I do recommend it. So yeah, like I said, SirToys.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below, and. Uh, yeah, I thank you for watching, like, subscribe, leave a comment, you know the song, and uh, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.